so Mune Dore. Munadori, I've seen it written both ways, I think it's Mune. But basically it's grasping the chest and then the usual attack would be showmen, so it's coming down on me from up from showmen. And rather than what what my first thing to do is that. Out to the side, cut. That, since the hand is attached, I mean, Nikio just makes more sense. And it's Nikio because it's that bend in the arm. So what I'm doing is I'm stepping out to the side and chinning him. I'm sliding down the arm and sinking my weight. Coming through. Very basic. Is that for? One more. One more. Okay. There. There. Very basic technique, counting to four. Okay. punch or showman, it doesn't really matter, but the point is there's some intention behind it. What I'm not doing is this. I'm holding on and then he's sort of trying to do something with it. No, it was a proper attack. So moving on from that, we have other options we can take. I meet it. There's a punch. Then can shimanage. So this time, I'm simply raising this hand, letting the hand still come down, which it probably wants to. I'm doing that, or I can go for. Whatever it is, even if it's just one more with a punch there, I can still acquire it from a more practical taught type of tag. So you turn. Later. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And that's later. You spot surprise now. Oh. Okay. So, here's another one, so this time I'm letting it through and oh. it drops like that. If this were a you know, a real thing, I could just punch him, bang, and that soccer manure and an will punch to the chops, bang. Of course, Aikido isn't practical. It's uh, you know, not practical just to step in oh. and chin them like that. A 
now I'll do a punch and it will work from a punch as well. Well, something will work from a punch. Okay. There we go. So we have that possibility. Oh. And now we have that possibility. So now we're doing here in the naggy, sweeping that through. You'll move a bit more than me because he's. Okay, so now from a punch. So not much difference. another variation. Let's just have a look at the thingy, make sure it's still doing what it's doing, yes. Okay. Now of course it is said, you know, these, these are training methods. Uh, a bit of an advance on the normal Kotai stuff. But it is also said but a Budoka proper one doesn't let himself be grabbed. So in this instance I lead. He never gets a chance. And obviously I've shown this one before. Whatever I grab it doesn't matter. the benefit of actually not trying to grab it. So he comes in and if I try to grab it, I set up a reaction. If I go there, this is the point, it only takes a little reflection to get a result. <laughs> You know, if, if, I, if I don't touch it at all though, sorry, if I, if I just do something like this, you know, I don't get a deflection. I've got, I've got, however small that deflection is, you see how it does to his body. Okay. So it's got a little bit untidy there towards the end. But the basic idea is uh, showing Munadori, obviously the most, don't, don't retaliate, the most likely attack. This isn't a terribly likely attack. I mean, with something maybe, but like coming from a slight angle, that is probably the most likely attack, or something like that, whatever or that. So, obviously best not to get grabbed. That's why you go through all the other stages to get there. Thank you.